Hi Joe, so we're going to try and do some of the maples that we have in the garden. Wendy is a Japanese maple freak and uh, mm -hmm. when I was doing a live stream the other day somebody commented and they said they really like Japanese maples so we're going to do a video on maples and this is going to be on Wendy's channel Gulf Island Rock and this is one of many uh, Japanese maples in our garden. It's almost kind of weepy this one. It is. But it is not, it is not the Acer palmatum dissectum autopurpureum. That's the cut leaf maple. This one is definitely not a cut leaf maple but it does have smaller leaves yeah. on it than a blood good maple and uh, it does give you nice autumn color beautiful. right this one's beautiful and I, I don't know the names of all of them either. no i'm not a japanese maple I kept, expert i had tags on them for a while but not anymore. i think they're nice trees but they're not my yeah. favorite because in the winter they look like they're dead and i don't hmm. like things that look sticky in but the we time. i like try to mix them with perennial evergreen there's evergreen so camellias and uh, hostas uh, We've got our palms. There's a lot of evergreens in here. But this one, this garden particularly, is more ferns and maples. This um, one here is a native vine maple, but I don't know if they're even native to our island. We planted this. Somebody gave me a couple of them when they were small many years ago. And actually a tree fell on this, a big branch, and busted that mm -hmm. off quite a few years ago. But it's mm -hmm. coming nice. So this one's actually, I think it's got some wings on it. Oh, yeah. It's, it's got, got some, some little, got some little yeah, wings seeds. on it. So this and is you know, a vine maple. And this... This one gets so brilliant red. It does. And look at the beautiful red. leaves on it. So this oh, is a yeah. native vine maple to our Pacific yeah. coast of Canada. It's pretty. But I have not seen them native on Salt Spring. Then we have this really fine oh, love it. Uh, maple here. And I believe it is a Japanese maple. But it's still not the cut leaf maple. It's something different. People and, might uh, know. Yeah, you experts out there that are maple experts might know by looking no at it. It's kind of got red, reddish yeah. twigs on it, branches. It's quite and pretty. really, really fine yeah. leaves. On I put this. that one in two years ago. And, and then this, this one, one I love. This, this one got hit too. This one got hit too with the same tree. It came and it busted a part of it off, but it's 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 recovered nicely. And this is also a nice fine cut, I believe, Japanese maple, Acer palmatum, and fall color again. And it's got really red, really red oh, twigs. Or yeah, branches on quite it. pretty. And then we come around here. This is our shade garden, like partial shade garden. It used to be a lot more shade before I knocked the top off of a big native maple tree. And you come to the other side of this one here, and I'll stand beside it so you can see how big it is, but it's very okay. weepy. Yeah. Very, very weepy. Little looking. path in there. Like, there's all maples all on that path. Oops. They're all and coming. And it grows very well with camellia. we got this red camellia in here. Oops, and hold on. They almost look like uh, vine maple leaves, but smaller. Really nice. Yeah, isn't it pretty? Really nice maple. It, it's so kind of cascading. I do like them. you got some clematis blooming here. So they all grow really well together. Mm -hmm. We have clematis armandi. There's a Montana in there, and then there's ferns, there's rhodos, there's a butylon in bloom. Coming around here, we oh, have a variegated. You missed that oh, one. Oh, we got this one here too. Got this was actually maple from in. my son, Mitchell. This is a really nice one too. Actually, that's maybe more like vine leaf maple, and, leaves but smaller. Yeah. Don't know the variety. It's probably yeah. a Japanese maple. It's slow growing. I mean, I've had this one for probably 10 years, right? This is a pitosporum tree here. Oh, yeah. And that in. one's bloomed already. It's already finished blooming. And then coming over to this one, yeah, we this have one. a variegated kind of maple. It's beautiful. And I believe this is a Japanese maple as well. Even the bark has colors in it oh. too. And red, yeah. red branches I on it. I just trimmed it the other day because it's kind of taking over our pathway. It's getting like a jungle in here. Yeah. And then we come over here. So we're done with the maples. Yeah, I don't think you have any maples on this side, do you? Ah, uh, no. No maples. We have fatsia. No. Nope. And we have some magnolia. And then through here... Yeah, no maples this over there. This is our courtyard. This is a courtyard sunken garden. It's so garden. beautiful. That's where we have over our... Here. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, over here. Maples. Actually, we have more maples up at the tiny house too. There's tomatoes Oh, yeah, blooming. we do. Beautiful oh, my tomatoes. God, the ones at the... Well, we're not going up there, but no. the tiny house has... They're just brilliant red. This is the cut leaf uh, Acer yeah. palmatum dissectum purpureum. I believe that's the Latin name for it and it is a Japanese cut leaf maple yeah. and they grow fairly slow and they got a nice round yeah. shape to them right they're kind of weepy and there's That's also cute. the green form which we need in our garden and you don't have you like maples you got to get the green form of that <laughs> so that one gives you also a brilliant color yeah and you have you have some other ones up in the upper garden yeah. as well yeah I we do. have a big garden folks so this is just yeah. a very tiny part of yeah. the garden we also have some in pots that oh, okay. This is from This is from a, a bigger Cynthia. one from our friend and she has um, they grow like weeds here. Yeah. They're self-seeded. And it's and so pretty. We she just had, pulled them out from under the mother tree. A couple babies. And then yeah. in here, we go down here. I'm trying to think where all the maples are. You have one more down um, here, don't you? Yeah. 
Oh, there's one in. What is this? Is this one growing in here? What is I don't that know one? If there's another maple in there. Yeah, you do have one in Yeah, there's another pot. maple in there. We also have the. Um, there's an, uh, another one that grows very large with red leaves on it, but it's not Japanese maple. And I mean, we here. really filled up our garden. Oh God, it is thick. It's hard to pick. In some places, I mean, we could expand, but it's. You know, so, water concerns. Uh, and that's why I say it's a low maintenance garden. We have no lawn. There's very, virtually no weeding in here, very little weeding, if any. Yeah. And um, because there's, the plants take up all the space in the garden. Yeah. So this is a blood good, I believe, right? Is that yeah. your blood oh, good? Oh, there, there's a tag on it still. I think it's a blood good. I love this one. This that one's is so. A dwarf prolific. Japanese, pixie dwarf Japanese maple. Oh, it's not a blood good. Huh. Interesting. Pixie eh? dwarf. And it's very hardy. It, oh, she just stuck the pot in the ground and cut the bottom off the pot. She's going to grow some senecio around it to cover that up. Oh. So I think that's it for maples in this garden. And it is. And then in if you garden. go down into the lower oh. nursery, there's native Acer macrophyllum, the large leaf maples, which are everywhere. I can see them. They're everywhere the here. They're they're. I mean, we use the leaves for mulch, so yeah. that's what we have in this garden. I don't think we've missed any maples. No. That's it no. for Wendy's maple collection yeah. here. And then she's got two more up at the next driveway where she has the... Uh, I might want to put one one day, oh sorry, way back up there. I was thinking I'm putting a palm in there, guys. Uh, we, yeah, and our palms, I mean, we have tons. Some of them, well, this in a sable couple years, some of them are going to be, finally, they're going to be really showing. Camerops, Humulus, Sable Miner, Trachycarpus, Winson, and uh, we, we got a mixed mash of everything in here. There's lots of cordy lines, lots of eucalyptus trees. You can see a big palm out there, that one. How tall is that one now? Close to 20 feet? The one out in the front. Oh, that one I planted in 1987, February, so yeah. it's been out for over Beyond the arbutus trees there. Lots of arbutus trees. See, arbutus trees are weeds. It's getting seeds this year. Those are redwoods? It's super tall, that one. Coast redwoods there. How tall is that one? I don't know. 30 feet? No, no. Nope. The palm? No. Maybe 20, close to 20, okay. I guess. Something like that. Wow. And you can see the eucalyptus trees here. Here's some of our gum oh, trees. Yeah. So it's an exotic garden, mostly broadleaf evergreens, but Wendy's also mixed in. Some other plants for contrast. This, yeah. like maple. So, it but we thought this would be a. I like it. I do like the looks of this in here. <laughs> oh my gosh! She's allergic to the garden. I like. I like the <laughs> color of the leaves on it. It actually breaks yeah. it up from all the green because we do have a lot of green in here. Thanks you know? for the little tour of the maples. Oh, here, I'm supposed to follow them. You have the there. eucalyptus trees on the left. Yep. And you have uh, lots of broadleaf evergreens and palms on the mm -hmm. right as well. And, uh, and then perennials mixed in here. Yeah. So it's uh, it's quite thick. It's a jungle-like garden. And down through here, follow me while you get the camera rolling. You know, oh, I know it was a maple okay. video, but we're going to give you a little tour of the uh, of the upper garden. So we got fatsia trees, which are going to have maple-like leaves. And yes. I like those because they're evergreen. Yeah, we love fatsia. And we got choicea ternata. And tuber. they're very hardy. They don't need they're, a lot of water. No, no, they don't need There's our bay leaf trees. We have lots of those. And uh, Andina domestica. It's, uh, oh it's full. It's a full garden. So many different types of eucalyptus. Yeah, and then we um, come around. It really here. is a botanical garden or, or arbore I don't know how many arboretum. Of plants we have. We have jungle. Oh yeah, plants. look at the seed pods coming out now. Flower right? pods. Flower pods. Is that this one? Do we know? Is this one male or female? It actually, looks like a female. Yeah, because the male's more of a. Is it more of a lime it's green? More of an orangey color in our male. Orangey. Yeah. So, and come down, we'll just finish off with oh. the Dixonia. Okay. The, there's a bay tree up there, that's a 25, 30 foot oh, bay yeah. leaf tree, oh, which self seeds like mad. And then we got tan yeah. bark oak in here with all the new growth. Isn't that beautiful? See the new growth on this tan bark oak? Oh, yeah. yeah. I always have to trim this back because it's our stairway and then down. Here on our deck, on our lower sun deck, oh. it's kind of really cool. We have a bamboo forest down there. Oh, it's just so beautiful. And uh, with eucalyptus the nursery. and uh, lots of palms. There's some big palms down there too. And southern magnolia. And oh. then we have the Dixonia antarctica. The Tasmanian oh tree fern here. Yeah, isn't that great? And a beauty. So that's been in the it ground is. over 26 years, folks. It and is doing beautiful. Well in this alcove, so. yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. So that's yeah. a small portion of a very large exotic garden and what else oh we got a cymbidium orchid and, and i'll tell you something about this orchid it stays out most of the winter and it only comes in when it gets really cold so that is beautiful there's that it? one and then the, yeah we got a couple stocks too. yeah a couple stocks yeah. on it this year so we've been really lucky with our orchids very lucky or joe these are joe's dogwoods